the bottom line is that while exercise is great, in fact, if we, uh, if we thought of exercise like a drug, it would be literally the most powerful drug we have for uh, improving cardiovascular health, all-cause mortality, bone health, brain health. Um, but like with any really powerful drug, the dose is key. You gotta get the dose right. Hi, I'm Dr. James O'Keefe in Kansas City, Missouri at the Mid-America Heart Institute, here to tell you about a new study we just published. The first author was Dr. Peter Schnorr, who is a cardiologist in Copenhagen, uh, Denmark. He started this study uh, decades ago. Um, other co-authors include Dr. Carl Levy and Dr. Jacob Marot. Uh, so this was a uh, prospective observational study based on um, questionnaires, comprehensive questionnaires about leisure time, sports activities, uh, exercise, including uh, 8,697 healthy adults uh, followed for 25.6 years. Remarkably long follow-up. This questionnaire asked specifically about uh, acti physical activities such as uh, running, swimming, cycling, tennis, badminton, soccer, handball, uh, health club activities, weightlifting, treadmill, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, get it with fairly, um, uh, fairly good detail about what kind of activities people did and the cumulative amount they did per week. The primary endpoint was all-cause mortality. So, uh, the, what we noticed in this study is that uh, exercise um, did reduce all-cause mortality dramatically. Uh, and that this is a U-shaped curve that compared to people who weren't exercising at all, those who were exercising from 0.1 to 2.6 hours per week had a uh, reduction. And the, the nadir was down around 2.6 to 4.5 hours a week per exercise, about 45 minutes per day. Um, and, and that stayed down there up till about 10 hours per week, about an hour and a half per day, where the, where the, where the mortality benefit started to tail off so that uh, it, it had this u-shaped curve that would say that <clears throat> that uh, the ideal amount of exercise is someplace uh, in the range of 30 to 45 or uh, 60 minutes uh, per day of exercise this is uh controversial but has been shown in multiple other studies including some other studies looking at running from the copenhagen city heart study um, 50% of Americans don't get enough exercise, not nearly enough exercise, and that's the bigger problem. But this study points out that there is an upper limit to where maybe 2% of the population might be overdoing exercise. So when you're getting your exercise, think about um, maybe taking one day a week off, shooting for someplace between 20 or uh, or or 30 or 45 minutes per day, but more is not necessarily better. and. Uh, as great as exercise is, um, try to be uh, moderate about it and um, have fun. I think outdoor exercise is important and, and playing with your friends is also important. So thanks so much for listening. Uh, this is uh, James O'Keefe signing off. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.